Eddie's relegation seeing them back in the third tier of English football for the first time in 21 years, having scaled the heights of the Premier League. They dropped down to League One, which included a six-point deduction last year in a campaign that started with them winning seven of their opening 11 games, ended with them winning just six of their remaining 35 as they plummeted down the table. The Cambridge survival at this level only achieved on the final day of last season as they beat Forest Green and results went their way. It's been a bright beginning to the campaign for them. Their nine points picked up from five games is their best start to a season in England's top three divisions since 1991. a few years, they had the playoff final championship level back in 2017 when they were beaten by Huddersfield and since then Martin really has been on the wall but they were a club set to drop down the division four times in the last six seasons they finished in the bottom five of the championship last season the season and they finally succumbed disappointing start to this campaign Three games starting to bring some optimism to the club. Ruben Sellers, of course, in charge. He was coaching Premier League Southampton last year. Interesting appointments. It seems are now just starting to pay off. Cambridge looking to begin this game on the front foot with a solid high play that you can see. The amount of attention that he has drawn to him. The cross comes in. And it's a brilliant save from David Button. Cambridge almost into an opening minute lead. Couple of goals already this season. And he will certainly feel that he should have had his third there. He's so good in the air, really attacks the ball. He's Nibs on the charge and he's in behind here. Harvey Nibs. It's still Harvey Nibs. The challenge comes in. Who bouncing around Manny and gets something to it. A brilliant reaction, we say. Reading denied a couple of opportunities for them there to get themselves into the lead, but will Manny and in the way? That's the team tonight for his first league start since April. And a chance for the cross to come in. Burst in behind him, but good change on him by Bennett. The effort flashed in by Aziz. Hung up once again. Plenty of goals and crosses last season, 16 in total. Problems in a similar way here. Another corner for them. And will be Danny Andrew to take. Golden chance to get Cambridge into the lead, but it's one which isn't taken. George Thomas there. Turns into trouble. And up to Reading. Yeah. 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 Just gives Cambridge something else to consider. Yellow card shown to the Cambridge captain. Yeah. And Rick is clipped in, headed 
Under pressure behind for a corner. And he comes in, and it was almost the opening goal. And he looks to the sky. Within at that front post ahead of Morrison. Oops, went up again towards the edge of that Reading area. That's a to just slide in Morrison. Of energy, isn't he? But he's given possession away. Caelan Vickers, he had a omen. Can he find a strike? Yeah, it's just wide. Inches away. Took a nick on its way towards goal. Just opened up for him here. And how crucial was that touch off Thomas? And Gordon to come on. And his debut as well as Sam Kaikai was replaced. Looking forward to seeing the kind of impact that Gordon can have. And He's taken off and on comes for Jiri Okinabiri. Energy's top scorer in all competitions this season with three goals. A little of energy being thrown onto the field by Mark Bonner. Will it be enough to turn this game in Cambridge's favour? Push forwards first time and Okinabiri's away here. Okinabiri, but it's the corrected behind. So soon after coming on, Mitchell Target, Ramos and Bendy and Beery racing onto it. Four minutes just for more substitutions alone. Gordon. And Beery moves it out to the right, Brophy. Looking to advance, here he goes. He didn't want to celebrate against his former club. And well, if that sums up Reading's night. For a few seconds, they thought they found an equaliser. Crashed off the bar, down onto the line. It never crossed, did it? But an infringement had been spotted in there by Darren Drysdale. Swept towards goal. Jumping in with the challenge and then firing it against the frame of the goal. And we're now ready to, to create one more chance here. It's front long by Button. Free kick to the visitors who will have one last foray forward here. And you would expect everybody to come, including David Button, surely. It can be 
and seconds remaining. He's asking the question. He's being urged forward. Maybe seconds for Cambridge to navigate here, who thought the job was done. Still one last act of defiance needed by Cambridge's defence. In it comes, it's a dreadful free kick. Oh, well by Will Mannion, who's performed well tonight in his first league appearance of the season. And there is the full-time whistle. Victory for Mark Bonner's side. Attacking on the door all through the second half, and then they finally forced a way through it. That trio of changes which just injected a bit more energy into Cambridge's attacking play in the final 20 minutes. A fourth goal this season four for Jiri Okinabiri and the fourth that Cambridge have scored in the league already this campaign from a player introduced to the action off the bench frustration for Reading frustration for Harvey Nibs who so nearly equalized or thought he had at least very late on it finishes here at Abbey Stadium Cambridge United 1 Reading 0